Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the first settings in MicroStation V8i Select Series 2 and how we can apply that first setting to represent grass. Here I am using a uh, MicroStation 3D design file. I've just placed some simple um, shapes and spheres in the design file. I've got them separated by color so I can assign the different materials to them. The materials I'm using are just going to be the default settings from the DGN library, so hopefully you can recreate this as well. I've got view 2 here zoomed in so I can take a look at the um, grass for testing. And I've got my material library editor open here. I'm going to set the filter so I just see the ones that are being used right now. And I'm only using four materials in this example. I've got the brick for the wall. And I'm also defining the concrete pavers for the sidewalk. The one we're going to be taking a look at is the grass. And lastly, I do have a chrome ball placed in the scene to help represent the uh, sky. But what we're going to be concerned about is the first settings for the grass. So let's just get started with the default settings here. If I render this view, a um, little setup first. I did go in my light settings here and turn off ambient light. I turned off flash bulb light and I turned on solar light. And as far as the solar position goes, you can go in there and drag, left click drag, and move the position of the sun both in the uh, direction and the angle. I could also define it by time and location, but right now it's just for testing, so I'm going to do direction. I'm also going to set up the environment. I'm just going to use a physical sky. And as far as the performance goes, I'm just going to use exterior good. Okay, with all that set up, I just need to make sure that my view 2 is the active view. And I'm going to go ahead and render this. Now I'm not trying to trick you. I did speed up the video in that portion as it rendered because I don't have the fastest computer, but it has completed now. You can see the sun in the chrome ball that I defined in the physical sky, and the grass doesn't look too bad. Okay. And now I want to actually make that grass look a little bit better with the first settings like we were talking about. So I'm going to go back to the grass settings here, and I'm going to go to the fur tab. I'm just going to, at first, check on fur and leave everything um, with the default settings. You can see in the preview at the bottom there, you can actually see that element actually gets a little hairy or adds fur to it. Some of the settings that we do have here is the overall length of the fur, the spacing in between each strand, the offset from the original surface, and then the width of the fur strand as a percentage of the spacing, and then the taper from the start to the end, how much does it taper? So I'm just checking it on with the default setting. So I'm going to re-render this scene. So I'm going to hit render and let this run again. So here you can see it actually created the geometry of the fur in the rendering. So we've got the grass on either side of the sidewalk. If we zoom in on one of the first settings, you can see the width setting, the height setting or length, and then the spacing in between each fur. So if I take a look at the previous image, we've got the flat plane, and then the first setting is actually generating the geometry for us as well. But we can do better with that, with some changes to our first settings to make the grass look a little more realistic. Go back to my Materials Editor and go to the Fur Settings tab. Now the first thing I want to do is here, maybe maybe make the grass a little bit longer. So I'm going to make it about a half a foot. Spacing, I need to dense it up a little bit, so I'm going to go with a smaller number, or five hundredths. Keep the offset the same, and the width, or the base of the fur, I want to set that to 10% and then keep the taper at 100% so it goes to a point. In the preview down below you can see it gets a little bit hairier or furrier in the uh, preview down below. So let's re-render this scene again.
And now finally the last rendering is complete and you can see we have much more realistic grass now. The grass on either side of the sidewalk looks much more realistic and we can go back and review what we've done now. So here is where we started and then these were the default settings for the fur and with a little customization, a little tweaking, we can get some real good looking grass. And this is where you would save the image to a file and uh, save it to a JPEG or a PNG file. Now there's a few other settings that you can uh, experiment with on your own. If we uh, zoom into the uh, geometry section, the rate number is something that you'd probably want to do if you have a lot of grass in a view. Higher the number, the grass, grass actually will fade out. And then if you want to make it a little more realistic and not so uniform, you can add clumps to it. And you can also work with the bend of the grass. So I'll have you work with those on your own. For more tutorials, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Hopefully you'll be able to recreate this on your own. Thanks for watching.